This is a lesson about the massacre of the Holy Innocents. The massacre of the Holy Innocents is the incident in the Nativity narrative of the Gospel of Matthew 2, 16, 18, in which Herod the Great, King of Judea, orders the execution of all male children two years and under in the vicinity of Bethlehem. As Bethlehem was a small village at the time, the number martyred would have numbered no more than 20, but that is 20 families destroyed, 20 families with their joy crushed, hope killed, and a baby martyred. All because a wicked and evil king had his nose put out of joint by God's angel's warning to the three kings. They didn't return to tell Herod of the baby Jesus, the baby king. So when Herod knew that he had been mocked by the Magi, he sent his murderers to Bethlehem saying to them, Slay the male children from two years and under. Mary, having heard that the children were being killed, was afraid, and took the infant Jesus and swaddled him, and put him into an ox stall. And then she and Joseph fled in the night. Elizabeth, having heard that they were searching for her John, as well as a well-known male birth, took him and went up into the hill country and kept looking for where to conceal him. There was no place of concealment. In a loud voice, Elizabeth said, O mountain of God, receive mother and child. Immediately, the mountain was cleft and received her and the baby John. And a light shone about them, for an angel of the Lord was with them, watching over and protecting them. In Saturnalia, a Roman text of the 4th century described these events. When he, the Emperor Augustus, heard that among the boys in Syria under two years old, whom Herod, the king of the Jews, had ordered killed, was his own son, Herod would kill three of his sons. Augustus said, It is better to be Herod's pig than to be his son. <laughs>